Hi, this is Melissa with A Creative Journey with Melissa. And today I'm actually not gonna do something too crafty. I'm just gonna show you something that um, I do for my sons that seems to really help them. And I hope it helps you too. So um, I tend to like to write big. And I also, um, like I love planners and I love calendars and I love keeping organized. But my problem is, is that I have big writing. So I like to have something really large, but am not normally able to hold on to something really large because I usually have too many things in my arms. <laughs> but anyway, so this is my version of uh, DIY planner pages. Um, and because I have boys, they don't tend to want to decorate them like um, maybe girls often would do or some creative boys would do. Men, whichever. They're actually men. I'm sorry, I have 18 and 20. I should know better, but they're still my boys. Even my husband, I call him my boy too. So they're my boys, quote unquote. Anyway, um, so what I have here is I'm just going to show you really quickly what I do and how I helped my kids try to get organized. Of course, your child has to want to get organized and wants, is going to have to want to do this. So if you have a child that doesn't really want to do this, it may not matter. But this could at least be get you on their way to try to get them organized and try to get them to take note and make sure they keep track of their assignments. This would be good for anybody really. It doesn't have to be college. It could be um, elementary school, middle school, whatever you would like. Um, or you can make this for your own planners, whatever you wish. So with that, I have, um, this is kind of the format that my son used and I actually have his binder right here. Um, so I'm gonna just open this up so usually what he would do is he would have his sheets in here, and I'll show you that in a second, and then he would have his pages. Um, his sheets he would put in like so. I'm going to show you. He would just put it in like this, simply, and just do them backwards. So the top one is the current week, and they're all behind their um, older ones. Um, any of his other pages that he would have. He may stick them in the back. If he has some more imp important information, he'd put them up on here, put the information on here. Still gives you a little bit of room to doodle, etc., etc. This is not the final sheet. Um, but the other thing I wanted to show you is really important, I think, as a mom and a parent, is this little lever right here is amazing, okay? And there's a reason why I'm showing you this. If you are of my generation, this is like a new thing. <laughs> We didn't have this stuff when we were my age. Older. Anyway, um, this is really cool. It is super user friendly. It's called a easy, let me see here. Do I have it on here? Yes. It is called the easy open ring. I believe I bought this in um, at Office Depot or Office Max. I don't remember. I want to say it was Office Max. I believe they're both owned by the same company. My guess is if you have any type of office supply store like Staples or whatever, they're going to have their version of it. But I would highly suggest and recommend that you get the easy opening ring because it also keeps you from having these off center. And if you're older like me or not, and just remember this happening, you know how they tend to kind of want to go off like that and then you end up ripping your pages? that's a pain. So we don't want to do that. So at any rate, that's my little tip. Make sure you get an easy opening ring, even if it is a little bit more expensive. This binder right here, or is it the next one? <laughs> I think it's this one. This binder right here, I believe, yeah, this is the one. Even though it's banged up and there's some rips and stuff like that, and my son would keep his pens in here and everything, um, he kept this for the whole school year. And yeah, it got its wear for sure. You can see it's fallen apart now. But for a year to have a binder, I was pretty impressed, especially with how hard my kids can be on their stuff. I thought that it was a pretty cool thing. So all I'm going to show you simply is how to um, put it in your book. I mean, like I said, this isn't a real... Um, hard video. It's not really a too instructional video. It's just basically a freebie is what I'm doing. I'm giving you a free download, actually two free downloads. The first free download is this right here. And the second one is the blank page of it. So I'm giving you two. I've got one with the way that he uses it. So if you wanted to copy that, you're welcome to and edit whatever you want. They're both Word documents. You can save them as Word, PDF, whatever you'd like. Um, but I also made them editable so you can use those. So make sure you download it. You're all set with that. And then we also have this here. This here is a, a blank page. It's kind of like you can do your own little calendar. It works out great, and the squares work out great for whatever you may want to do. Um, you are welcome to use this. 
Um, obviously, if you want to download it, you'll have to um, download it on my website. It's free, doesn't cost you a thing. If you have any issues with it, please let me know. Um, any rate, so what I'm going to do is just show you really quickly. This is a three hole punch. And some of you may have used them before, some of you may not, but I'm gonna show you how to use it just because even though it may sound silly, it took me a while to figure this out. I was a secretary for a number of years, so I was able to figure it out relatively quickly, but I had to. But um, sometimes if you're not used to using three hole punches, it's important that you know. So this over here, it says right here, I don't know if you can see that, it says align paper here. Yeah, that's really important because if you don't align the paper there, you're not going to get the right holes in the right place. So. The important thing is you're just going to make sure that your uh, papers are all even. You're just going to slide it right inside there. And I'm going to show you that clearly like this. Okay. So you're going to slide those in right like this. Make sure they're all the way to the end and inside. Don't squish them or else you're going to actually ruin your pages and bend them. And then all you do is just push down and then you have your holes in the right place. Assuming that you're hole puncher is doing the right thing. Um, so I'm going to show you here really quickly. I'm just going to do this one myself. This is the blank one. And this is a super duper um, heavy uh, use ACCO, A-C-C-O um, hole punch. I love it. I've had it for years and it's great and it looks like it's brand new. Um, you don't necessarily have to have one of those. Um, if you want to find one at a yard sale, garage sale, estate sale, something like that, I find them all the time. So what I'm going to do is just show you really quickly. I just put the pages in here. And he likes to write this way because it gives him a little bit more space. You don't have to. You can write this way if it's more comfortable for you. I personally like to write this way because, like I said before, I like to have more space. You may want to write in pencil. You may want to write in pen. You can write whatever you want, and you can even put the outside notes for something, and you can just write, say, Monday, if you don't want to use it on the typewriter or on the... Um... Oh, look, a mistake. <laughs> um, or if you don't want to do it on the computer, you can do it yourself and just do blank pages. You may not have school on Friday, so you may write down Saturday for this. You may have Saturday school. That gives you the ability to do that. If you wanted to add another day, you're welcome to do that too. I can do that for you if you want. Let me know. I can do another page for you if you'd rather have all seven days. I did this really more for a five-day format. Um, but like I said, you're welcome to do whatever you would like. Um, typically, I use this for school, and he would use this for school as well. Both of my sons would. So um, you can do the date on here, say 8-6, which is tomorrow. Today is Sunday. Um, you can do it this way and just do it quickly if you wanted. Or you can use the one I already did for a, a week coming up with all the information there. Now see that's the difference. I don't think one's any really better than the other, it just depends on what you like to look at. You can use a fancy font if you want to, all different kinds of stuff. It's not too hard. This is really not a uh, super duper difficult uh, video. I just wanted to give you a little something for being such great supporters and wanted to see if you needed a little bit of organization or maybe to keep track of um, some type of appointments or whatever you like. And so I created this. And I also have the blank one, which is this, which is no longer blank. <laughs> so um, I hope you enjoyed this today. I hope this helps you out. It inspires you to maybe do your own planner, maybe create your own calendar. Whatever you'd like to do, whatever you think would work best for you, that is what this is all about. There is no wrong answer. Um, if you want to use it this way and use the blank one, you can do that too. If you want to edit it and change it this way, you can change the format on Word. Whatever you like. I really hope that you enjoyed this. I'm hoping that you um, are inspired to try to keep yourself organized and make sure that you know that, don't worry, everybody has to... Um, keep schedules of something and it can be quite frustrating and it can be difficult but I have to tell you it does help you out when you get it done so I hope you have a fantastic day I really do appreciate you coming to visit and I hope that you enjoy the free downloads that I have for you whether it's the one that's dated or the blank one and I hope you utilize them both I hope you have a fantastic day and make sure you check out our website at www.acreativejourneywithmelissa.com or www.acjwm.com we have some awesome stamps that would work great. The alphabets would work fantastic, especially our sign language alphabet. I've seen a few of our awesome customers um, create some really cool planner pages with the sign language um, alphabet as well as the sign language numbers. So it's really a cool set.
Anyway, hope you have a fantastic day and thank you so much for going on a creative journey with Melissa. Have a good one. Thanks. Bye-bye.